Welcome everyone back to another Boldcast Reaction. I'm Carson. I'm Lindsay. And this is Naruto Shippuden episode 126. What happened last time? Last time I've been betrayed, I've been bamboozled, I feel... I, I've, I've been like sitting on this for a few days at this point and I'm like really mad about it still because I people always say that I never like the villains. People get mad at me because I don't love everyone in the Akatsuki, but I was really starting to like Toby. I liked that he was being a piece of shit to Daedara. That's a really good dynamic that I really appreciated. And now it turns out that Toby is fake. Toby isn't real. I mean, I can kind of hold out hope that like, maybe like Madara Uchiha is just like possessing Toby, but, and like Toby is like still just a good boy, still doing his own thing and he doesn't even know about any of this, but that's not the case, I doubt. A little bit angry. What do you think his plans are? I don't know because what Because it seems like there's a deep, we got like, that whole like expose no on the, on the Akatsuki's motives. And but then now, we find uh, out that there's a, a shadow leader. I know, I was like, that's what we were talking about last time too. I was like, okay, so not only has Toby been ripped away from me, and now if I ever see Toby being like Toby again, I'll know that it is fake, it is a complete lie. But not only that, I had thought that the Akatsuki's plan was really good because it was like a solid plan with little to no flaws in it, an easily executable thing. But now I'm thinking like, what if, what if my like original theory of like, oh, they need to collect all the tailed beasts so that they can like make something else or like d do something like even crazier than just use the tailed beasts like to their advantage or whatever. Cause they're putting them all in that statue thing. So now I'm like thinking maybe I was on the right track originally, secretly. And that's the secret plan is that that something's going to happen with that. Only one way to find <laughs> that's out. That's my new plan. If any of that is true. <laughs> and that's to watch <laughs> this episode of Naruto Shippuden. Let's go. I'm coming in, Tsunade. Jiraiya, have you learned anything? <laughs> I have. <laughs> so abrupt. Oh, shit. You have me everything. Now, now, don't be hasty. This isn't like writing a sequel to your novel. You don't have any time to waste here. But haste makes waste. Listen, I'm going to go somewhere, just the two of us, and grab a drink together. I'll tell you everything I know. You fool! I am the whole Kage! Drink in the middle of the day? What about all the ninjas? It's never stopped you before, Tsunade. <laughs> cut, smash cut to the fucking bar. You really ought to take your own words a bit more to heart, Tsunade. Oh, I wish it would get dark already. When you go and forget to sleep, and you'll try to molest him? I'm so excited! <laughs> Three full sprints in the same spot. Right in her face. <laughs> her entire superpower is smell. Oh shit. Oh shit. Her entire superpower is smell. What if she did that and she couldn't smell them coming? That would be incredible. <laughs> or it's like smell, but it's like sensing chakra, kind of. They look so cool with their capes. <laughs> they they have so like cool. the opposite of the Akatsuki uniform, kinda. I guess I better go check on Kai. Hmm. Wake up, Sasuke! We're about to have company. Even when he first wakes up, he's still dreamy. Everyone get ready. We're leaving. Jugo, mark the map with the location of every Akatsuki hideout you've learned about. <laughs> Just songs that make you go. <laughs> oh shit. I feel faster. So this is the power of the white snake. They might have intel on Itachi. Why don't we just ambush them, Sasuke? Itachi is our only priority. And if worse comes to worst, you three will stop the hidden leaf. For now, this is Team Heavy's mission. Going to use the intel that Jugo gathered, and we'll hit the Akatsuki hideouts one by one. All right, sounds good. Let's do this. Hold on, Jugo. Help me out. With 
What? I need you to gather as many birds as you can. Why? What's your plan? Well, this is one of Sasuke's old outfits. Oh. It's soaked with his sweat and smell, so... Oh, wait, why did you hold on to a sweaty old outfit? <laughs> It was for this plan, obviously. It's a specialty of the Leaf Village. Hmm. Little known fact. <laughs> it's like there's 50 Sasuke's running around. Oh shit, it's fucking heating up. I don't know exactly. But I think it's safe to assume that he has a skilled sensory ninja on his team. The scent is spreading too far, and our comms aren't long range. I'm the only one who can track it. I'm gonna find him, even if I have to search every blade of grass. I'll do whatever it takes. Just watch. Multi shadow bomb jutsu! Out to kill a whole bunch of fucking birds. One problem, Naruto, you can't smell yeah. where they're going. <laughs> I mean, if you have enough shadow clones and you all go out from one place. Akatsuki hideout up ahead. They're like already there. Who's that? That's fucking terrifying. <laughs> Sasuke? <laughs> Almost. Worse. <laughs> Oh Jesus! <laughs> Imagine running him into him alone in the woods. Come on out, Naruto Uzumaki. <laughs> Jesus Christ, that's so intimidating. You're here to capture me, huh? No, I'm not. Right now, I'm only here to talk to you, Naruto. Yeah, nice try. <laughs> <laughs> Lady Chio. I know that you're out here all by yourself, so why aren't you running? Whatever. I could be any number from one to a thousand. Besides, why would I want to run? If I capture you, then I'll get to see Sasuke. No reaction. Why are you so obsessed with my brother? He's just a rogue ninja. Damn, asking the real questions. It's true that we may not be blood, but. He's more of a brother to me than you ever were to him. <laughs> You've been under it the whole fucking time. As soon as you see his fucking eyes. Oh. It's so fucking crazy. I'll see it again. I just want The Hidden Rain Village. Why would he pick that place? It just doesn't seem like somewhere he could move around very freely. But that very insular nature makes it ideal. They're able to keep other nations from learning about their internal affairs. Exactly where you shame. wouldn't expect it to be. Shame? Apparently a civil war has been raging there for quite some time now and has divided the village in two. Word has it that the leader of one of the signs is the very Akatsuki leader that we're talking about. Hmm. A tormented land. It's surrounded by the three great nations of earth, wind, and fire. It has often and long been used as the staging ground for all their battles. There's never been domestic stability there. And that's exactly why I must infiltrate it and verify the information I've gathered. When I return, we'll plan our strategy. It's too dangerous to go alone. I'm one of the Leaf's legendary Sani. You know what that means just as well as I do. I'm sorry. You always seem to get such unfortunate assignments. <laughs> What's with the sudden confession? I'm merely saying that you were originally supposed to become Hokage. After all, the third Hokage always wanted you to succeed him. I'm not cut out for that sort of thing. I like being free, unfettered. You regretted not being able to stop Orochimaru. That's why you tracked his movements by yourself for so long, isn't it? Well, I no longer need to do that, do I? That also means I get to release the sequel to my novel even sooner. 
<laughs> Sometimes truth is stranger than fiction, isn't it? I never imagined Orochimaru would die. Remember how the three of us would go up against the third Hokage? And now, flat as a bored Tsunade has become the big bosom Hokage. <laughs> just have to keep our emotions in check. The job that we must give to ourselves now is to set examples and aid the next generation, Tsunade. To achieve that, I'd gladly risk my life. Wisdom is the one thing that makes growing old worth it. The only two people who would mourn Orochimaru. I mean, other than Kabuto. Other than Kabuto, that's true. But it was less of a mourning. What's going on here? I thought you said that you weren't after me. Then why are you doing this? You look right in his eyes again. I have an important matter to attend to. A shadow clone? What was that all about? Damn. No luck with this set either. It wasn't a shadow clone. He just walked away and while well, you were still under the Kenjutsu probably. <laughs> <laughs> You're just not gonna. Something happened. No, I just tripped. That's N all. Naruto, are you? Kiba, get on the next scent. Are you a member of the Akatsuki out here, just Wait. refusing to share information? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what the fuck, Naruto? What? Why is everyone? Itachi's in this woods, guy. In these woods, guys. Why is everyone a fucking idiot in this show? That was really weird. Anyway. You too, then I. Are you saying you cry for me? I'm glad to hear it. But I doubt it would be like the time that Don died, right? You idiot. Say, <laughs> you gamble everything on me dying. After all, Tsunade, you always lose your bets. Isn't that right? <laughs> <laughs> Death pool. I do actually manage to make you back alive. Kidding, Tsunade. You know, I'm grateful to you. Rejection makes a man stronger. I believe that you can't call yourself a real man unless you can laugh off all the bad stuff that happens to you, or at least use it as writing material. So a man's only job is to be strong? Kind of. But that isn't the entire story. Basically, the pursuit of happiness isn't for us. Huh. Stop trying to act so cruel. <laughs> Either. Well, you have a point. <laughs> if anything happens, contact me through your toad, and I'll rush in to help you myself. No need for that. You mustn't leave the village. All of the hidden leaf is relying on you right now. Plenty of others can be Hokage. But there can be no stability if the leadership keeps changing. And right now, there's no better Hokage in the Hidden Leaf Village than you, Tsunade. No, there's Kakashi, and, well, eventually Naruto could become Hokage <laughs> as well. Boy, you really are sold on Naruto, aren't you? <laughs> Although, I can't see why. Your brother, Nawaki. Your boyfriend, Don. <laughs> Kid Naruto looks so I'll be weird. Hokage! That's my dream! <laughs> God, the Saki's <laughs> strong, Jiraiya. And Naruto, too. All three of them chasing after the same dream. You may have given him your necklace, but he still has a long way to go. You believe in him, too. That's why you pushed him so hard, Jiraiya. I mean, you even taught him the Rasengan. Just put it down to nostalgia. He reminded me of the days when I taught Minato. Minato Namikaze. Naruto's just like him. Minato. Once in a generation genius, there won't be another like him ever. 
He was kind and gentle, yet fierce. Yeah, not tone, not mean cause. He became the fourth Hokage in the blink of an eye. Now, I've never been a parent before, but if he'd been my son, I'd be very proud. <laughs> now that you mention it, Naruto might not be like him after all. <laughs> He's not the kind of child you boast about. He's the one whose mischief you always try to cover up. No, I would say Naruto is more like his mother was. Isn't she a Kunoichi from the land of Eddies? That's right. His personality is just like Kushina Uzumaki. That's right. Kushina I had forgotten her name. She was a chatty, red-haired little rascal. She was quite a tomboy, as I remember. She was that, but she grew up to be a real beauty. But Naruto looks more like his father. Yeah, when I look at Naruto, I see a lot of his father. Although to me, it feels as if I'm looking at my very own grandson. It's being passed on. The will of the leaf from past to future. Confirmed. That's right. I had one last warning. What? Beware of the foundation, Tsunade. Yes. I know. Good. Then? See ya. I really fucking hate that you got spoiled because they literally couldn't like there couldn't have been a worse time for you to get spoiled on that that's why I was so mad Be like and I can't even like it's fully it's fully telegraphed it's so if I if I was gonna try and bury that and like try and ooh well I don't know it would just kind of cheapen the moment so it's just sad because even if I hadn't got spoiled, I probably would have like known of course, anyway. Yeah. It, it's, but it's, now it's then it's like confirmed. It just sucks that it happened right fucking before this scene because this scene is where it's like it's so. This is an incredible fucking episode. This is again one of my favorite episodes in the show. Yeah, what do yeah. you think? What do you think of all that? That was so. First of all, confirmed Naruto. Couple things confirmed. What was confirmed? You 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 go through it. You go through uh, it. Naruto's parents confirmed, uh, considering he looked exactly like <laughs> the fourth Hokage, who supposedly just sealed him in some random infant. Um, sealed the nine-tailed fox yeah. in some random infant. Yeah. Yeah, I mean that that was like kind of obvious, but now confirmed. Yes. Also, they made Jiraiya, especially of course. Classic, same thing that they did with Asuma. They, like, made him immediately, like, way more likable and, like, relatable. And, like, oh, I wish I could settle down a little bit <laughs> right before they're, like, sending him off to die. Naruto. <laughs> that was two days before retirement. Because <laughs> <laughs> he's, like, bleeding out. Yeah. It really sucks. And then it, that whole scene was really interesting because we talk about it all the time, but no one in the show seems old. Yeah. Like, first of all, Tsunade, like, disguises herself to not look old, but even Jiraiya doesn't, like, seem... I disagree. I disagree. I they, don't know. Like, both... I think it's... I think it's Tsunade's voice actress, but sh they make it seem... Like, she has, like, this sexy older woman voice type thing. Yeah. Like, like that kind of raspiness. She's, she sounds older than I she looks. I guess she does, but, like... Just, like, in general, they don't seem like they're super old. Like, you yeah. ca can forget... Yeah. The, the ages of people pretty easily in they, the show. They look like about 50, which is what yeah. they are. I, I, would, I, guess. I would say that. Or like mid to late 40s, I would say. But it's interesting because they're like old, but we've talked about before, like in the way that this village works, the like aging and passage of time goes a little bit quicker. So they're actually like, have like had the experiences and had the the lo the moments and the losses of someone who's actually even older than that like more like 80 years mm -hmm. old of like you're fucking like the people who were like your children or the people who you like watched grow up and raised have already died yeah. before you and it's like it's almost like they've lived too long when they're not even that old you know what yeah. i mean 
That's like the that's That's why the, the first thing. Hokage seems like so long ago, but then when you really like think about it, it's like Jiraiya's teacher was a student of the first and second Hokage. Yeah. So like it hasn't been that long yeah. since that happened, but it seems so long because it's like the generations happen so quick. People have kids and die like so young. They have kids when they're yeah. like 19 or something and then die when they're like 22. So yeah. like Yeah, or, like you know. like awesome. He seemed like he was like he was like 30s he was maybe or like 29 but yeah like he seemed like he was like mid 30s like going on to his 40s almost yeah. like he seemed like a He's, well to me, established he always seemed like he was like 41 42 yeah like he, he seemed he seemed like a bit older than everyone else but he wasn't yeah and then that's like the weird thing and the thing that you don't really think about is when you're an when you're basically an adult at like 12 or like you're an adult at like 14 mm-hmm. or whatever then like, everything goes a bit... I was going to rein it back a little bit, because we're not really talking about the episode. No. A lot happened this episode, and I feel like we're kind of just blowing past it. There's, like, do you have any more opinions about the whole conversation, or any thoughts about it at all? It's just kind of sad. And, like, earlier as well, when they were talking about Orochimaru, that was sad as well. Yeah. It's, like, how they straight up... They were just mourning him. They never... And it's it's kind of... It sucks as they, like... That was their only chance to really do it, because they can't, like... They can't have that conversation with everyone else, because it just seemed, like... Because everyone's like, no, what the fuck are you talking about? He's fucking killed, like, hundreds of people in the Leaf Village, and, you know... So Not I only imagine that has it's... he killed, like, hundreds of people, he also killed our Hokage, who was, like, the pillar of this community. Yeah. Yeah. But that's... I always find that scene interesting, because it's, like... And yeah. they're sad, but they obviously like. W- I guess it was. It's an interesting thing because you can tell that they're happy that he's dead, but it sucks that like killing him as he is now also killed the person that he used to be, even though that was gone for a while. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and then Jiraiya, them talking about who could be the Hokage. Yeah, Kakashi and Naruto. Kakashi and Naruto. Let's not see. not a mention of my boy Shikamaru. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, um, it's kind of funny. I wish I wish they threw it in there that sh- it could have been Shikamaru just as an extra little thing because Asuma said it. But I feel like Tsunade, it's not like Tsunade is a stranger to Shikamaru. Like they're pretty decently close. Like yeah. Shikamaru's always in the office, like fucking catching up on shit and like getting, you know, giving his giving his input and like, you know, mm-hmm. he's he's very he's often included in those conversations. So it's never he's not like a random guy. So it's kind of. I don't know. But it, it, I just wish is, she is saw like him that a, way. a really a, a sucker for people of the same. Yeah. Who like really want it? Like Shikamaru would be a really good Hokage, but he didn't. He wouldn't want it. Yeah. Um, and I think that's why she maybe didn't say it. But yeah. But I don't know that Kakashi would want it either. But there's a lot of nostalgia this episode. There's, yeah. We found out that the Akatsuki are in the Hidden Rain Village. Yeah, and, uh, and apparently it's a super strict village, and they don't let people in there very easily mm-hmm. because there's a civil war. Yeah, and, they're uh, trying to like hide from everyone else. So if people can't go in there, then they can't see that, and then they won't know that they're actually. Weak. And apparently, they hinted it's not a great place to be because it's in the middle of the great nations, yeah. and uh, that's not a great piece of territory to be in between those places. No. They probably got destroyed in, like, every war that there's... Like, if, if like, this place is fighting this place, oh, guess what? We have to go straight through your... Straight through your territory. Yeah, yeah that's a lot. Really interesting. Also, they're talking about the leader. I wonder if they, like... It's just interesting because they... So little is known about the Akatsuki by... Like, even if they... Even if fucking Jiraiya went and found the leader, it would probably be pain... And not, um, they don't. The only people like who know, know about the other leader Th- that's, is us. That's what that's what I mean. Like it's super interesting because even like like it's it kind of makes it seem even more hopeless because <sighs> you're going after a fake kind of. Mm-hmm. Even though I'm sure pain is also very powerful and, and enough to the point where everyone else believes that he is the leader, but like yeah. It's just interesting. And, and then... The f- conversation with... <laughs> Nar- what the hell, Naruto? I don't understand what that. The- did he turn into Eno from the other episode where it's like, did he see us? No, he didn't. Why do you think he is not saying that he just literally ran into Itachi in the woods? I guess because then people would... They would try and hunt down Itachi rather than focusing on going to get Sasuke. That, I think, makes sense 
somewhat. I like if if he said Itachi's in these woods, they'd be like, or wait, aren't they? They're looking for Itachi. Well, they were looking. They for were, Itachi, and then they but found then his they found scent. Sasuke. Yeah. So I think they'd be like, okay. We gotta like re strategize. We can't be chasing Sasuke. We gotta defend Naruto from fucking Itachi. We should probably just retreat. Well, um, no, they would try and capture Itachi. They would, but like. But it would slow down the operation of going to get Sasuke. Yeah. So. But that's just a lot. Like, it, I don't know. If, if you're like being really cautious and like this is a risk to have Naruto out here on this mission, and uh, we're kind of bringing him along as bait so that we can run into Itachi a little bit. Like, mm-hmm. partly because he just wants to go along and this is his mission too, but like. Um, if, you know, oh, sh- like too many unexpected things happened in in this in a short course of events, and I think if Naruto told them, then Kakashi might be like, "We should probably just lay low for a little bit and possibly retreat, or else things are gonna get." But then weird. it sucks because it does help Naruto, but it puts everyone else in extreme danger. Yeah, not knowing that there's like one of the most dangerous people that could be around around. Mm-hmm. So kind of scary but also Itachi just let him, straight up let him go and like wasn't there to c- yeah he just talked him. to him what 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 do you take it from that conversation do you take anything from that conversation I don't it's it's it was an important enough thing to, for the author to just include there randomly mm-hmm. so it's not like random yeah it Itachi like comes in and is like I just want to talk yeah but they didn't really have much much of like a crazy conversation or anything it was just like to, why are you so interested in Sasuke? <laughs> why are you stalking my brother, yeah. bro? And <laughs> then Naruto's weird, like, he's my brother, not your brother. And then Itachi's just like, well... Okay, then. Okay. Goodbye. <laughs> he, like, smiled a bit, and I'm like, damn, he's like, oh, shit, Sasuke did get a best friend. Looks like he can kill him after all. Um, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> like, I don't, like, if... Yeah. Yeah, I don't... That That's a possibility that he just was interested in the nature of Naruto's relationship with Sasuke. And if he was still, like, best friends. Mm-hmm. Uh, because that's important. Mm-hmm. Um, Anything else you want to say about the episode? No, it was a really interesting episode, though. A lot of, like... Deep, it was, like, a pretty deep episode. Especially the conversation at the end sad. (laughs) Hope you guys enjoyed the reaction. We'll see you in the next one. I'm Carson. I'm Lindsay. Bye-bye.